Hello and welcome to this session on Selenium Java Framework from scratch and today we are going to continue our discussion and implementation of page object model. So let's get started and we have to first create a class for each web page and before I go there let me go and show you the framework and in the last session we discussed about page object model and we also created a package called pages where we created a class for identifying and having all the locators for the objects on Google search page and then we created a test for doing the test on Google search page. So let me first go and show you the earlier class. So this is how we created this class in the last session and here we created a function for every object location or locator and then we created a test where we referenced this object like this. Okay. Now here we have only located or we are only having the locators in a separate class but still we are doing the actions in the test case itself. You can see this. Now here what we are going to do is we are going to go a step ahead and we are going to go to the next level of page object model design principle and today we are going to have both the object locators and the actions in a separate class and in the test case we will just create an object of the web page and refer them. So let's get started and I will go to my pages package and create a new class here. So I'll go to new and I will go to class and let me name this as Google search page. So this is already taken so I will say search page objects and say finish. So here I have a fresh class. Now here I can start locating my objects or having object locators. So this is the Google page that I am creating a test for. So this is google.com. I have to add something on this search box and then click on this search button. So these are the two objects that I want to identify search box and the search button. So I will say by so by is again a class in selenium and whatever name you want to give so it is always useful to give some meaningful name so this is a text box I will say text box underscore search and also you can have like uh, uh, even more longer name and you can give the page name like uh, google search uh, which will be more easy for referencing but as of now I will just say text box search equals by dot and I can use any selector or any locator as we have already seen in our earlier session. So let me select ID this time and if I see the ID of this search box let me go to inspect and if I see the ID here so it has the ID LST hash IB so I will use this LST hash IB let me just refer it again yes this is all in all in small LST hash IB and similarly for the search button I will say button underscore search and this I can say by dot anything xpath id css let me use the name itself and I will say the name is btnk I think let me verify it again and yes it is btnk so I will say btnk okay and now with these two statements I have found the locators or I have given the locators for these two objects I can now add methods for actions doing action on these objects so I will say public void and the first action I have to do on the text box is I have to send keys or enter some text so I will say um, I will say set text in search box you can give any name here and here I will say driver dot find now I have not yet initialized driver so here I will just go at the class level I will say web driver driver and here I will say it's equal to null and even if you do not say null and keep it like this it is okay but just to save some memory I will say null and here I have to say this is from org open queue selenium I will select this and here I will now say driver dot find element now here I can directly say 
text box and you can see it is giving us this auto suggestion for text box search I will give this and then I have to use send keys okay and send keys and now I have to give some text here now I can hard code a text value here whatever I want to enter in the text box but I don't want to hard code it I want to take it from the test so here in the arguments for this function here I will say string and any name let us say text whatever I will get from the test case I will add it here okay so this text I am getting as an argument to this function and I am adding this here and that is all for this particular function and for clicking on the search button I will create another function and say public void and I will say click search button and here of course I do not need any argument or any value and I can directly say driver dot find element and this is button search here I will just use this and now I can either say click but with our experience I know that uh, the click button is uh, hover over by the results of the search and it is hidden so I will say send keys keys dot return so this is similar to pressing of the enter key on the keyboard and this will press enter so I am adding this text whatever I will get from the test case and then hitting the enter key so this creates a class for my web page and whatever application you are working on with you can create a separate class for every web page and all the objects you can locate like this you can keep on locating all your objects here and then you can keep on adding all the actions on those objects and one important thing here is see here I have used a driver but when this will be called from a test case I should be using the driver instance from the test case and not this one otherwise it will not do any action so for that what I will do is I will create a constructor and do not worry if you do not know um, a lot about constructors in Java just follow me for now I will say public and I will use the same name as the name of the class so I will say this and use this brackets circular brackets and here in this constructor I am I will take the web driver instance from the calling class so whatever wherever I will create an object for this class this constructor will be called and I am saying that whenever you create an object of this class you should pass a driver instance or a web driver instance which will come here and here I am saying this dot driver now just follow me I will tell you what I am doing I am saying this dot driver equals driver okay so here what I have done is this dot driver means because I am taking the same name driver here and I have already given a name driver here as well so to make Java understand I am saying here I am referring to the driver of this particular class which is this one and this should be given the value of the driver that is coming as a argument to from to this particular constructor I can also use a different name I can say driver one here and driver one and here I cannot I can remove this so even this will work fine but it is just okay to say this dot driver and here also I will say driver to keep things consistent so in the class where I will create a test case I will also name web driver as driver and I will pass it here and this will be given here okay so do not worry if you are not getting a lot deeper in case you are not very much familiar with Java that is completely fine you will get things uh, in some time so just follow me along so this is I have created a constructor here and then the functions we have already created so this completes our creation of a class for web page and this we have to do for every web page and we have also added object locators we have added action methods and now we have to create a class for test case this is step number four so now I will go to my test package and I will create a new class here and I will say this is Google search page uh, let me say test 
and finish okay so this is google search page object and this is google search page test now here first of all i have to give a main method and in the coming session we will use uh, some unit testing frameworks so until then we have to use the main method so just use it so what i have done is i have written main here and press control space bar this gives me auto suggestion i have clicked on this main it has given me a main method so this is the starting point and then i will say i will create a function public static void and i will just say this is a uh, google search test and start it okay and first i have to uh, initialize browsers and other things which i can take from my earlier code so these things i will take directly from here i don't have to write it again to save some time i will just copy it and you already know all this this we have done in the earlier sessions and driver we have to instantiate so here i will say at the class level i will write web driver driver equals null and here we are providing the value and first of all i have to import org open qs selenium web driver from org open qs selenium and here it is asking us to make it static so i will change driver to static here so you can see it has become static and i can also make it as private okay so it is only available to this class and to the class where i create the objects okay so this i have done now what i have to do is before i start the test now i will have to create an object of our page class which is google search page object so i will say google search page objects and i can give any name here search page obj equals new google search page objects and do you see it is asking us for a driver because in the google search page objects we have this constructor which is taking a web driver instance and whenever we create an object for this class it will by default call this constructor so we will have to pass a web driver instance so here we are passing driver which is this driver that we have instantiated here or which we have defined here and that's it and now you can see there is no error so we are able to do it now just in case you need a little more uh, inputs or little more details on creating classes and objects i will suggest that you can go to my channel which is youtube automation step by step and here if you go to the playlist let me just go to the playlist here if you go to java so you will find a playlist for java here so let me see yes here it is if you go here and if you go to this playlist let me show you so here you can find all these tutorials on java which are very basic and you will get all the details here and if you want to learn about objects and classes in a very simple way i suggest that you uh, see tutorial number 9 and 10 which is what is object oriented programming and how to create classes and objects so this is just for reference if you want to see this it will be very useful so here we have now created our object for the search page google search page or our, our web page and now i can use this particular object to uh, call any of those functions which are defined in this particular class so now i have to cre start creating my test case so here we have to create object for page class which we have already done and then we have to refer action methods so now i will start creating my function or my test so i will say driver dot get which is the very first step i have to go to google.com http this is https google.com and here next step is see next step is i have to add something on the search box so now i can directly use this object i will say search page object if i press control space bar i will get this auto suggestion and here i can say dot and here if i start typing i am getting all the options of this functions which are there in my class page object class 
so here I will say set text in search box this was the function I created and here I have to give a text so I'm just saying a b c d here okay and then I have to hit on enter so I will again say search page object and now I will say click search button okay this is the function and of course there are no inputs or arguments that's it and then driver dot close so you can see how simple our test is now our test is just these four lines of test it is very easy to maintain and in case of any changes in any objects I just have to go to this particular class which is the page class which has all the objects and the functions and I can make the changes here and our test class is very simple now okay so now let me just show you here I have created this yes so now I will run this and of course I have to call this function from the main method so I will say Google search test and let me run and see if this runs properly I will say run as Java application and it opens a Chrome browser yes write ABCD and hit center and done so you can see this is done and this is how you can use page object model so whenever you are working with any web application you will create this page classes for every web page and then you can refer them in your test cases so we have done with all these steps and these benefits of page object model we have already seen in our last session so now your code is very clean all your objects will be at a single location you have only one unique definition per object it is very easy to maintain and very less rework is required and you will find the advantages of page object model when you have a lot of code a lot of web pages as of now this is a very small uh, web page and we don't have a lot of data here a lot of test here but as the code increases you will find the benefits of page object model okay uh, so let's do a very quick recap we learned how to implement page object model and in coming sessions we will see other techniques of creating frameworks as well I hope this session was very useful please hit the like button and share with others if you liked it and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get all notifications whenever I will upload new video I hope this all was very useful thank you for watching